Jesus, something big just exploded behind me. <laughs> that scared me. Holy cow. Choked it. Nice. <laughs> nice. There we go. That's a fish on. Decent. Decent fish, man. Really decent fish. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right, you got your scale. Part is pounds and the bottom part is, I think. Yeah, bottom is kilograms, so. All right, so this is five, two and Two and a quarter pound. Not bad. Here. Hold them up real quick and then we'll get this. Yeah. Up face face the ruler to the camera, dog. It's um face the ruler to the camera. Sixteen inch fish? Yeah. Not bad. First good large year of the season. Welcome back folks. Another episode of Wisconsin Angler. I'm Alex. And we are fishing. A little bit of finesse. Let's let that big girl go. She's a little bit dirty. Nothing a little water won't fix. So let me show you what I'm fishing here. Seven foot St. Croix Premier. Seven foot uh, medium fast action rod. I just got here a little one knot drop shot hook and uh, a little watermelon. A little watermelon colored uh, stick worm here. I think this one is a Gary Yamamoto Senko, but I've got a couple in the box, so I can't be 100% sure if that's if this is a Senko or if this is a Strike King stick bait. But still, really, really good fish. Running that, uh, I think I'm running 14 pound fluorocarbon. Just make sure we aren't missing anything. No. Just want to make sure I don't feel any abrasions. I don't feel any abrasions. We're good to go. Let's get the stick worm back in the water. See what else we can pull out today. Ugh. 
There we go. That's a fish on. That's a good fish too. Holy smokes. Jesus, that's a good fish. Oh, it's a pike. <laughs> yeah, got a little snake. All right, Slimer. Easy. All right, get out of here. Well, change of baits, caught a pike. <laughs> well, all right, let me show you what I'm running for this one. So, original chatter bait, and then this is a uh, Strike King soft plastic fish. I can't remember what kind it is though. Pretty big, pretty big hook. Got it on some 50 pound braid, St. Croix Premier, medium power, seven foot, fast action uh, casting rod. Obviously, just hooked him up right there. Didn't even feel him take it. He just, he just took it, watched the line move, and then all well, then I knew I had a fish. All right, guys, let's take a moment to dissect what worked and what didn't work as I wrap up my morning. Everything seemed to work, and then again, everything seemed to not work. So we caught bass on topwater frog, chatterbait with a soft swimbait trailer, and wacky rigged Sanko. But we didn't get onto a pattern, but sometimes it's like that. Now, when you get into a phase where it's been raining, and in our case, where, where I live, it's been raining for almost a week and a half straight. Um, and right before that was some seriously scorching hot weather. And um, fish are feeling a little bit lethargic, but a little bit of perseverance, you can get out there and catch a few fish. And we caught a really nice one today. Two and a quarter pounds, 16 inches. Got it on the scale and the ruler for you guys, which is a first here on the TV show, so. I'd like to thank you guys all very much for watching and I'd like to thank my sponsor Arden Outdoors and uh, St. Croix for letting me use their brand name. Now before we sign off let's get to a little bit of gear talk what I was using. So I've got almost everything rigged up except the frog that I was using. So first was a St. Croix and this is a premier series medium power seven foot fast action rod. I've got that paired with an Ardent, Ardent Apex tournament bait casting reel. 50 pound braid on that one and then we have man good good faithful she's been with us for uh two and a half season or one and a half seasons because i bought her like halfway through season one uh used st croix premier bait casting rod seven foot and i've got on here some uh, 14 pound fluorocarbon and this is the ardent st croix or <laughs> st croix premier medium light seven foot fast action rod paired with an ardent finesse 2000 size spinning reel and some 14 pound fluorocarbon but that's all there is for today and once again thank you guys very much for watching really appreciate it hope you have yourselves a wonderful fishing weekend fishing week whatever it is you're doing don't forget to keep your bait wet you're gonna catch fish god bless everybody